Season 2 is underway, guys. There's plenty of transfers. We've been playing with tactics. How far can we go this season? Check it out. Hey there, guys. Welcome back to the channel. We're back with the Gibraltar save. It's Manchester 62. First season's all over. It finished as you last saw. Nothing much to, to note about, but we made it to Group 1. We've built a foundation. Lots of young players. We've been through that. Season two is underway. Let's have a look at the transfers first, only briefly, because again, there's quite a few of them. Brendan Ramage, this was one that we signed during, um, it was an end of contract thing, you know, we, we signed him during the season for the end of his contract. I think it was from Lions. We signed quite a few players, or had a look at a few, quite a few players from Lions. Yeah, I think they must they must have a decent sort of youth setup because quite a few seem to come through. But anyway, Brendan Ramage, 20 years old, homegrown, good finisher, pretty quick, big. Good all-round centre-forward. Happy to have him there to add some depth uh, to Jacob Walton. And another centre-forward in uh, Michael Ruiz. Really pleased to get this one as well because it's another good finisher. Good touch. Good in the air. Again, quick off the mark. Another sort of good all-round. Five foot ten. He's not quite the six foot, but he's close. Another sort of good all-round, clever centre-forward. And Young and Gibraltar and homegrown as well. So really happy with those two. Um, Consigliero, I think is how you say it. Can play just about everywhere. He's there for a little bit of depth. He's 25, um, so it's a bit of experience, but we're not paying him anything. So he's a nice cheap freebie to add to the squad. Christian Cipollina is a similar sort of thing, um, just to add some depth to midfield because we struggled there last time. We had to play Ballantyne there and it, and it didn't work out. We didn't want to have to keep doing that. So, But he's only 19, so uh, another good one for, for the future. Uh, where are we? Nigel Wink. Um, one for the under-23s, this is not quite there yet, but again, another midfielder, but a little bit more all-round, so I'm hoping he develops into something, but definitely he's one for the for the youth team for now. Christian Zamet is the same, pretty versatile, can play midfield, can play at the back, um, can play at full-back. His attributes don't look great, <laughs> granted, but again, we're not paying him anything. If he develops, then great, if not, whatever, it's pretty risk-free. Uh, Tyrone Avellano, now this is a little bit different. Um, Gibraltar, I think he's been playing um, playing at Lynx, yeah. Uh, 22, so a little bit older. Attributes aren't fantastic, but again, he can play sort of midfield, and we were struggling for that defensive sort of midfielder. We've only really got Kieran Garcia now that can do it. So have, having Tyrone Avalano in that can play centre half, can play that again, nice bit of depth, um, and can do a couple of different jobs for us. Uh, Tyler Evans uh, is, is a good one. We needed a new goalkeeper, uh, Adam Stevens left. And to be honest, I didn't care because the amount of mistakes he kept making, especially towards the end, you've seen a couple of them. Awful. Uh, so getting Tyler Evans in was really good. Uh, 18 years old, he's Welsh, so not homegrown, but I think we should be able to get him just about enough time to get him uh, to get him trained to be homegrown if he, you know, if he sticks around long term, you know, who knows. But picked him up from uh, on a free transfer. He'd been at Swansea in their, in their academy. But I think for, a, for an 18-year-old in this, this sort of standard, he looks pretty decent, good reflexes, good handling, you know, all of that sort of stuff. And he's, he's only going to get better, good good potential as well. So paid him a decent wage, but we'll come to it in a minute. We've got plenty of room there. Uh, Sean Montovio, uh, yeah, decent defender. Again, he's one for the, for the under-23s to develop, decent potential. But he's already got the good, the heading and the tackling. He's probably going to be a no-nonsense, but I'm happy with that in, the, at this sort of, in this sort of football for now. Um, so hoping he sort of adds to it his game a little bit and becomes at least a squad player uh, and then finally Lucas Howe who um, well he can play all over the place but actually we've been using him as a bit of a wing back which isn't the reason I brought him in but we've already got good depth at, um, on, the, on the left side but he can play midfield he can play on the right hand side as well but as sort of an attacking option at full back which we don't really have um, I, I'm quite excited about this one he's uh, he's a good good young player to bring in was at Middlesbrough again picked him up on a free so happy days with that. I think there are some free transfers here that we might be missing, or is it from ones that we did last year? There are definitely some players that we have. Anyway, let's look. Let's look at the squad because I'm sure there's. I'm sure there's some that we're missing there. You can see it's quite a large squad. Um, it will trim over time. I think the main areas that we've that we've maybe missed a couple here. A um, couple of promotions from the youth team. Ben Hillaby as a sort of backup goalkeeper. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Um, Jules Jules Salah was a promotion from the youth team. Uh Bassano Arnes was a promotion from the youth team. 
Uh, Dennis Bautista was a promotion from the youth team. Lots of promotions of the youth team. They, they may well be temporary. Ellis Wilson was the one I was looking for. I think he must have been another promotion from the youth team. Yeah, uh, Another good option on the right-hand side. Nice and quick already. Good first touch, good passing. So um, a nice backup to sort of Jaden Parody there. So there's plenty to be excited about here. Yeah, I think that's about it. Now, we had a, I mentioned last time we had an excellent youth intake. So the develop, development is still, is still going strong. Um, and the guys have... When I find it, where is it? Bear with me. There we go. They've had a great start to the intermediate league. They've uh, lost to the Red Imps um, and an unfortunate loss to, to College Seventy Five or whoever. But they've won the rest of their games, and we sit sit pretty right up there at the top. Albeit there's some games in hand, but we're gonna looks like we're gonna battle out for for um, for winning that title again as well. So that's brilliant because we did it first season with little to no impact from us a lot of the first team playing but again with the first team being such a young average age a lot of them are more suited to that football anyway so it's really good that they're hopefully going to sort of come up together and you know golden age on its way mark my words anyway let's have a look at how things have started now it looks like from memory we can actually check it can't we it looks like it's the exact same schedule again. So I they must have the same schedule of matches every year, for, at least for the first phase of it, um, which I suppose is understandable, playing at the same same stadium. Put, put, put a couple of friendlies in there, which went really well. Um, not much to shout about in terms of who they were playing, but they were similar sort of reputation teams. Should have won this game, conceded late on, um, uh, and won that one comfortably. And we've started off, and we beat Lions again. We beat them 5-1 last time, so not as prolific, but we looked a lot more solid. We've still conceded a goal, but Scott Ballantyne with a lovely hat-trick to start things off. The reason I played that is I don't want to play Lions every year on the channel. So we're going to the second game today. We've started well. The tactics are looking like they're, they're okay, a bit more flexible. It's a 4-4-2. It moves around a little bit. We focus down this left side with Ballantyne and how, and that's worked pretty well. But we can change things around and, and focus things differently. Um, not too much of a change from the first game. Um, Ollie Taylor starts on the right-hand side. He's only 15. So I am throwing him in a little bit and he has struggled a, a spot. He's not been awful, but we don't have a massive amount of options at right back. I'm still looking to bring maybe a little bit more of a senior player in there. But for now, he's doing OK and it'll only help his development, I'm sure. Um, Alan and Avellano are going as my sort of starting two at centre-back, although um, Jules Sala and da -da 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 Bassano Arnes are more than in with a shout of play in there as well. So we're still trying to figure out that best back four. How starts at wing-back because I want to go for it a little bit, but we can pull that back uh, and play someone like Serrano there as a, as a defensive fullback and let the attackers do what they want to do. Garcia is a sort of more defensive midfielder. Jay Key is the, is the playmaker. Parody and Ballantyne, you know well. Ballantyne, as you saw, got off to a cracker. Uh, Walton this time, I'm trying him as a bit more of a target man. Uh, last time we started with Ramage, who played well, but Ruiz has come on um, and looked, looked stunning, to be fair, especially like in the friendlies, and, and he bagged last time, or he's created last time. He looked really good. I, I don't know. I've <laughs> lost my trail, but he looked good. We, we've got options up front, is the, um, is the long and short of it. So that's what we're going with today. Let's get into it and see if we can get, carry on that good start. Here we go then, guys. We won this fixture last time, uh, last season. We won the first two games, didn't we? Um, the board this year just wants us to avoid finishing bottom, which I suppose is a step up from just being competitive. But there's still not a huge amount of expectation, and the season preview is about the same, if not a bit worse. I think we're second from bottom or something like that in that. So, not much expectation. But for us, you know, oh, decent, decent start. For us, we got into Group One, and I think we, we always just want to at least match what we did last season with 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 and and look at the youth that's coming through. Um, looks like Parody's picked up a knock there actually um, yeah, let's not risk him Ellis Wilson can come on and do pretty much the same job one thing I didn't mention I suppose was the outgoings but we'll go through that in a sec just let's see where this is going how getting forward Valentine looks to have drifted inside wins the header can he get the ball across in it goes Parody header's over decent football though uh, the, the outs lots of players out as you can imagine but the notable ones, Ross McCormack, who probably isn't a surprise, didn't really do much for us, and obviously he was like, couldn't move, so he's gone. Uh, and Luke Coleman wouldn't sign a contract. Key puts it in for Wilson. Oh, he's got to score. He's offside. <laughs> Luke Coleman. <laughs> Luke Coleman's gone as well. The midfielder wouldn't sign a contract. Wouldn't even discuss it. Uh, the squad wasn't good enough apparently for his aspirations. So um, on he moves. But um, you know, it's what it is. So we started pretty well. 
They've apparently had a shot on target, but we've not seen it, so it can't have been too. It can't have been too um, important. Good challenge from Howe. Free. What? What? The game even said it didn't look like a foul. Okay, well that that obviously causes us a problem. Um, how frustrating. Okay, well it's going to have to be. We're going to have to sort of sacrifice one of the centre forwards then, and and we're going to have to dig in a little bit here. Let's set him on an attacking target, man. Uh, no, let's keep him on. We're going to have to rely on sort of the wide men here a little bit. We might have to change things, but that is a shocking decision. I'm fuming. That's a really potentially damaging, damaging decision. I mean, that's we're half an hour in. He's got the ball. The game even said it didn't look like a foul, and he's run over and given him a red card. So that seems ridiculous, but. Um, you know, anything we can get from this now will be a bonus. Ballantyne getting us forward. Digs a cross out. There's the header. Oh, is that a save? Or was it off the bar? Off the bar, I think. Good response, though, boys. Ballantyne started the season brilliantly. Good in the friendlies as well. We do need to be a little bit careful because the, the, we're still, you know, the defence still isn't exactly super solid. Um, they're all very young, obviously, and we, they still need time to gel. And worryingly, I, I still don't really know what the best back four is. Um, pleasingly, we are using a back four. We've got two defenders and, and two fullbacks instead of that silly sort of back three with no wide players. Um, that's a good ball in. Is he offside? Yeah. He looked close. He looked close. Okay. Uh, well, actually, I, I don't think he is offside, is he? So the officials have had a storm of this game, haven't they? I'm happy with that one, but it doesn't really even things up for the 10 men. Absolutely fuming at that. Well, okay. I mean, we're not losing, and I suppose oh, I suppose a draw at this point would be an okay result playing so long with 10 men. But we've been the better side. They've obviously had the ball in the net and perhaps should have counted, but... And I think we have been unlucky. I don't think there's a lot we can, you know... After ascending off like that, I think we're going to knock it down just a positive... Um, and we probably just need to slow things down just a little bit. See how things go at the start of the second half. If we if we can stay, you know, if we can stay level, then maybe we go for it towards the end. But let's get through these first ten minutes. I think they're going to be crucial. It's the magpies that have started in possession, knocking it around pretty well. <laughs> maybe not. Happy days. That's how, you, that's how I'm happy with that start to the second half. Come on, boys. Not a lot happening. But I suppose that's okay. Wilson with the corners. And it goes. There's the header. Off the bar. Get in. Oh, no. Has he not scored? Oh. What happened? They hit the bar and then it was basically on the line. It was just their defender reacted a little bit quicker, I think. Oh, so close. We have done... I've, I've properly done the corners this year, so I'm hoping this year, this season, so I'm hoping that they, you know, they bear some fruit. Here's Wilson showing his pace. Can he get the ball in? He can. There's Walton. Oh, it's a great save. Come on, we're knocking on the door even with 10 men. I'm feeling good. Feeling good about the season. And it goes again. There's the header. It's a great save again. Who's this guy? Martin. 12 shots now, 4 on target, we've stepped it up, we've really stepped it up, but we've not taken one of the chances yet. Most of it's not poor finishing I suppose at least, it's, it's been sort of good defending, a bit of bad luck. Um, we'll look at changing things shortly just to freshen it up, let's see what happens here. Alan forward to Walton, he's obviously a bit isolated at the minute. We don't have that option of, the, of Ruiz or Ramage running off him. Good ball over the top. Here come the magpies. Bit of space. Oh, well done, Scotty Valentine. Well positioned. Rubbish pass, but 
swivels on it, Watson. Ellis Wilson's got the pace. Come on. Finish round the keeper. Oh, what a finish from the angle. Yes. Come on, the boys. Ten men. Doesn't matter. Send off who you like. Uh, we actually seem to have been better. Oh, lovely. That's exactly what we want from, from Walton in this in this situation. Just bring the ball in, swivel on it, and those two wingers running off him. What a finish. It seemed to, seemed to make take the most difficult route to a goal, but I don't care. That's a great finish. And Ellis Wilson might have just played himself into a into a start next game. Superb response from going down to 10 men. But last season we conceded a lot of late goals, so let's just let's just be careful. That's a great goal. Come on. Garcia up. That's loose though. Doesn't need to do that. Play ourselves into trouble. Carb Jamie Coombs. Ah! That was unnecessary. It's a decent little goal, but I think that, that was avoidable. This ball forward wasn't really necessary from Garcia. Oh, and see Avelino gets a touch to it. He's got to make sure that he deals with that once you've slipped, once you've gone to ground and you've got a touch on the ball. <sighs> it's, I mean, it was. I suppose it was a tight offside, but uh, I mean, actually, I, I think actually he's offside, isn't he? So these officials have been absolutely woeful. Um, right, ten minutes left. Okay, let's see what happens here. I don't like making subs in highlights. I don't like it when we give the ball away like that, though, because they're going to come right back at us now. Well done, Ballantyne, again. Getting stuck in. Simple one ball over the top. Half a... Oh! How annoying. That's one straight ball forward. Is that Avalano again? That's not dealt with it. He's just pumped it forward in a straight line. What are you doing? We've literally handed them, handed them a win here. Right. Um, how to play this now? I think. Let's just pop Garcia on support. We're gonna have to sort of. I'm gonna have to get forward a little bit here, um, and we need to freshen things up a little bit. Um, okay, let's let's give Ramage a go. Let's put him on Pocho. We need need players need players in the box now. I can't believe we're we're two one down. I really can't. Defeat from the jaws of victory or whatever it is seems to be what we've done here. I know we're down to ten men, and we said we'd take a draw. Um, but I'm not happy with the loss. Not not with the performance that we've put in. It's been it's actually been really good. Two really sloppy goals. First one was which was offside. Okay, I suppose they had one ruled out that, that wasn't. Maybe that evens itself out. But um, you know you can't pretend that that sending off hasn't hurt us. Nothing happening at all. Whipped in. Ramage at the back post. He will collect it though. Keep the attack alive. There's a, there's a chance left here. Bit of space. Key. Oh, it's dribbled through. We'll take that all day. Come on. <laughs> what a ridiculous goal. I don't care. We deserve something from this. Really do. I didn't think it was going to come from that, but simple, really. Here's Key. Look, arriving. Just arriving late. Takes the touch. Hits it. I mean, the keeper should save that, shouldn't he? But we won't, we won't be too bothered by that. That's more than what we deserve. We've had so much bad luck. I'm going to leave it on. I want to, I want the win. I don't care if we're in 10 men. We've, we've We've been much the better team here. I might rue those words, mightn't I? Well out. <sighs> Rob, we should have took the draw. Easy. Tyler Evans doesn't let those go through. That keeper's had a storm of the first half as well, hasn't he? So Nice to see him make a mistake that, that favours us a little bit. Not much I can do now in terms of the change, I don't think. Whack it on very defensive, but the change won't happen in time. Oh, this is nervy now. Come on, see this out. Oh, no! Oh, my God! What happened there? <laughs> Come on, then. Give it him. Give it him. Make a run. Come on, Brendan. Yeah! <laughs> What's just happened? Yeah! 
yes. Wow. It just it hit the bar. Hit the, I, I thought they'd scored. It pinged off the bar down onto the line. And he's threaded him through. Oh, lovely finish. Come on, boys. What a start to the season this is. Wow. Right. Just blow the whistle now, please. I don't really want to go and... Oh, no. Please just... Don't take this away from me. Deal with it. <sighs> right. I don't think there'll be time for this to happen, but... Come on, we've got to see this out now. After all that. Oh no! Away! Yes, come on, that's got to be it now. Yes! Come on, what a win. What a win that is. Amazing, right. Well, this is going to be a good season. And when I say good, I mean exciting. I don't know about results and stuff, whether this will keep up. We won our first two games last season. The rest of the season didn't follow suit, but... What a win that is. We got a bit lucky in the end. Uh, very lucky in the end. But we had more than that fair share of bad luck in that sort of first half an hour. Uh, first half to sort of an hour. Sending off. You know. Goal was offside. They had a bit of bad luck. So whatever. Don't care. Drama. Character. We're building a squad. It's looking good. Uh, I'm all excited now. Look. Calm down. Calm down. <laughs> uh, hopefully you've enjoyed that. How could you not? Hit the like and the subscribe as normal. Check out the other stuff on the channel. Scott's in Spain. Scott's in Derby. Uh, network game. New episodes coming up soon as well. Uh, it's great. Really enjoying it. Catch you next time, guys.